everybody. How y'all doing? <laughs> you guys a bunch of grinders. Well, grinding is, is certainly the term you'd use to describe that game. You know, they defended us really well. They were very physical. And um, whenever you play a team like that that's as physical as they are, it kind of bops, uh, bumps you off of your timing. And so we didn't execute very well, but that's a credit to them. I thought they uh, really kind of got us out of what we, like, what we like to do. So we had to win a different way today, I thought. We just had to grind it out, tons of offensive rebounds, uh, find different ways to score when we weren't scoring the way we normally had been. So um, really proud of our kids because one of the hardest things to do is grind out a physical victory like that. We did that today, and uh, good day for the Miners. Man, the, the offensive rebounding is you can shoot 35% when you do that. Yeah, you know, I, we preached it before the game started. We, we, we preached it every time out and every break. Halftime, we were in their ears about running to the boards, running to the boards, running to the boards, because we just picked up on film. As good as Texas Southern is and as physical and as strong as they are, we felt we could really hurt them in, the, in that area. So uh, uh, I think that's probably the key issue in the game that put us over the hump. Thank goodness, thank goodness, we were able to get to the boards and create some baskets that normally we wouldn't get. What did you learn about your team this weekend? Well, you know, I think, it, like a good friend of mine in college once told me, Darren Bowden used to always say, good things come to those who just keep chopping wood. You just keep chopping wood, something good is going to happen. And that's what we do. And uh, we just try to keep getting after it. Uh, we are certainly not perfect. we got a long, long way to go. But the neat thing is watching them figure out different ways to win. And this was one of those things, one of those days where we, we did that. We, we figured out a way to win when maybe we weren't playing our A game. But it's to their credit. We weren't playing our A game because of how they defended us. Nice game from Patterson. Yeah, she came, she came off the bench and gave us some energy. I thought that was really good. She, she can do that. Uh, she's going to do that all season for us. She's going to give us minutes. She's going to come in, do her thing. We'll get her back out, put her back out there. She kind of gives us energy. And uh, we needed her tonight. She made a couple of key shots for us, one off the backboard and then, uh, and then uh, one off a play that we ran for. Well, free throw, 16 and 17 in the fourth quarter. Oh, wow, that's clutch. I didn't even know that. But that's a really good thing, you know, down the stretch. Uh, I felt really comfortable with each one of them going to the line. They looked really confident. And, um, you know, the game changed when the officiating changed. When they started calling things a little bit better and tighter, we got to the free throw line, you know, and uh, that's just the way that it is. And uh, put that in the for what it's worth category. Four players in double figures, two of them with uh, double doubles. I mean, is that kind of the, the team that you want where you're kind of spreading the wealth? Yeah, it's definitely a team that you want. You don't always know if you're going to get that. But, I mean, it's certainly one of the things that has put us over the hump. And, and getting points from everybody, getting contributions from everybody, that, I think that's helped us, especially this weekend when you play back-to-back -back days and you need everybody. Um, I, when you can get, even if it's a small contribution from a player, it really, really helps us. And I thought we got several today. You never trailed in this tournament. The only tie other than 0-0 zero is when they finally caught you at 48. Then you scored 10 straight. Was that your team responding to the situation? Well, I don't know. I, the answer to that question is yes, it was. But what I complimented them on was how they just never got rattled. Um, it was 48-48 after we'd been pretty much in control, of, at least scoreboard-wise, in control of the game. And when it got tied, we had lost momentum very much like we had the night before and we fought our way back to, to uh, gain momentum once again. And that's what I complimented them on in the locker room uh, just now and told them, you know, 48-48, the game could have gone either way, but your composure down the stretch, your stubbornness is what puts you over the hump. Is that kind of something moving forward, closing games out maybe sooner and kind of keeping that distance between teams? Is that something to take away? Yeah, I think so, because one of the things that, um, you know, you look for as a coach is, a championship team always figures out a way to close out games, whether it's at the free throw line, taking care of the ball, getting big stops. This team's learning that. I mean, we got a big stop against Arkansas last night. Uh, we made some free throws down the stretch in this one. And that's when you really see growth. Because sometimes I look out there and I see four sophomores and I wonder how are we going to grind this out. And we did, and I'm proud of them for it. I know your focus has probably been obviously on this on this tournament, but what have you what, what have you heard or what do you know about uh, U and M, a team that's getting you know top twenty five votes right now? Uh, extremely well coached, very athletic, well coached. They're going to be a tough uh, tough matchup for us, but they're a tough matchup for anybody. But one of the things that that, that I like is that you know for a while um, UTEP uh, wasn't a tough match for anybody, so now we are. So it's going to be a great game. And um, so I'm excited about it, but right now we're going to celebrate this one 
and hopefully we'll uh, grow from this, get better, and move on. Naj had two points at halftime, 14 in the second half. What changed? Not much. You know, she just, uh, she's a gritty player. Uh, she didn't play her best basketball in the first half. She knows that. But she's kind of one of those players that when she decides that she's going to make up for maybe a mistake or maybe not playing well, she figures out a way to do just that. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.